there. Uh, today I wanted to take an opportunity to taste uh, some library releases and in particular um, I pulled out of the cellar the 2014 Vintner Select Pinot Noir. So um, for those of you familiar with this wine you know that this is like the premium tier of Pinot from my cellar. Um, this particular wine was in one of the hottest years that we've seen in Oregon in the Willamette Valley. Um, we picked this fruit in the middle of September over, well, over the period of a couple of weeks um, into a, uh, the last week of September. This is grown at five different vineyards within the Willamette Valley. So this is a blend of um, a couple different sub AVAs and a couple different clones of Pinot. When I make this wine, what I do is taste through the cellar and it's the Vintner Select. So basically this is the wine that I think was the best barrels in the cellar in that particular year. So this particular Pinot is a blend of um, five different barrels because there were five different vineyards. So I went through and tasted the barrels and found the wines that I thought were the most aromatic, the most complex, the most interesting, most contemplative um, to make a really more complex Pinot. And of course, 2014 was a very significantly warm year, warmer than we've seen in many uh, vintages in the past. We had 13, a very wet year. 12 was hot, but on, on par um, with, on par by saying on par with some of the earlier vintages that um, it had substantial tannin, but not a lot of ripe fruit notes. And of course, 10 and 11 were both very cold and late years. Um, so this particular wine, I wanted to revisit it. So this is now about a six year old wine. Um, it's the 2014. Today is the July, is July 1st, 2020. Um, so I opened this because I wanted to take a chance or take a look at it. I also had some friends who were doing a barbecue and I wanted to offer them a more robust Pinot and thought this would be a good option for them. Um, there is a few cases left in the library. Also, if you're a member of the Helio Terra Wine Club, you've had an opportunity to have this as a library release um, in your club shipment. So, revisiting it, I'm actually really stoked about this wine. So, it has still a ton of fruit. I'm getting a lot of cherry, a lot of cranberry, even a little bit of raspberry. Um, it's got some savory qualities, so there's some cola notes to it, um, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of ash. There's still some forest floor. It doesn't show any signs of, of age. There's not that telltale like dried out or kind of brown, older, tired notes. It still has a ton of, of fruit, a lot of uh, ripe characteristics to it, of course, because it was a warm year, um, but still really, really vibrant. There's even like a little bit of molasses. So on the palate, there's still a good amount of, of um, tannin present. Really nice juicy acid on the finish. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a tobacco savory quality to this wine. It's got a lot of length. It just keeps going. Um, wow, I'm, I love it. It's, it's showing really well. So if you happen to have these in your cellar um, as the six year check-in, I would say this is definitely a drink or hold year. It's showing phenomenal now. Um, there's still life to this wine. I would say it's still got probably at least another six years to it. As, it, as I said, doesn't have any signs of aging. So. Cheers.